Lincoln Park is back. What's going on, YouTube? It's Soy Noxo, and we are back. We're back to our reaction series. So today, today, man, I am well aware. We have some catching up to do because we have brand new Lincoln Park. This right here right now is none other than over each other. But before we get any further, listen, if you like the hat that I'm wearing, guys, you like the hoodie that I'm wearing, noxhillmusic.com. Last time we dropped these hats, we sold out of them like they were candy. We're doing one more limited run on them with a cage on the side. You want to support, you want to cop yours, you want to get your hoodies. All links will be down there. But anyways, anyways, no, we're here for Lincoln Park. So back up to the plate. Let's see what you got. I was wondering it was teasing the build, wasn't it? It was teasing a drop and a kick in. But obviously we open up. You have this horrific accident, it looks like. Car's been flipped. She wakes up. She's not looking so good. But then we start to reveal who she means to her. The lyrics reveal that, but then the video starts to reveal it over time as then we have these flashbacks of them being together. But then there were some dope lines too I want to talk about. This is the letter that I... Obviously, it's framed. This is a letter that I didn't write. And, you know, you think about how we tend to just take our loved ones for granted. We tend to take life for granted, really. And so many of us probably have letters because you think about writing a letter to someone. It's more intimate. It's more personal, right? So this is the letter that I didn't write. Like, and so many of us don't take the time to express those feelings and those emotions because, yeah, we just we, we don't really get the time to write them. But then something shocking happens like a sudden death or fate steps in and our health falters, and then we have a realization of what truly matters. So I love how the, the visual framework is working kind of in sync with what's happening with the lyricism so far with it. This is the letter that I, I didn't write Looking for color. Just a little teaser. Do, do, just like way down in the mix right there. Just that synth underneath of it all. Color in the black and white. Yeah, that's the line. Looking for color in the black and white. I've heard different artists use that over the years, but I always love that. Like when the world just seems so black and white and so simple and you're just trying to find that color and that's what a relationship can do. It, that joy, that celebration, that happiness can all of a sudden enrich and fulfill and bring color to your life and to your vision. For color in the black and white Skyscrapers we created On cheeky ground and even there, skyscrapers we created on shaky ground. I hear on the shaky ground, it almost sounds like that's Mike underneath, like doubling her. And he's just like slightly back in the mix doing the backing vocals. But if you think about on shaky ground, we don't have a strong foundation of this relationship, whether it's because fate stepped in or, or maybe there's something deeper and something went wrong with it all. When you build a skyscraper, you want to build something high and grand, right? Like a relationship. And you have these just illustrious dreams with it all and these visions of grandeur like a skyscraper. But if you don't have a strong foundation with a relationship, it doesn't matter where you think the ending is. It's going to fall apart before that. Jiggy ground, I'm trying to find my patience, but you won't let I was definitely Mike. Me Damn, and that gets tough. You won't let me breathe because you just keep running your mouth so much. There's nothing. Let me get some H2. Let me get some O2 around here. Damn.
Who is that? No, nothing. It's no one. Okay, yeah. A little bit of, uh, you know, questioning, some mistrust. Trust is everything in the relationship. That's a fun line. Free falling into the pavement. Had to bring some more rock in. Give me those electric guitars. Let everything rise right here. And this feels like, yeah, this is Emily's real sort of show-off song. Like, she's the focus now, right? She's the star of this. She's the lead bro. And you can really start to hone in on Linkin Park's newest member. I felt like this was coming. And this is the single now to really, like, show her off. To show off her range, her vocals. And, yeah, let her shine. <laughs> That's actually a really dope switch up. All we are is talking over each other, you know, because everybody wants to be heard, right? That argument in a relationship when you're talking over the other person. But then she flips it right there with that crescendo into instead of talking over each other, are we over each other? Like, do we just not realize this relationship is over because we built it on shaky foundations and these skyscrapers are crumbling before us? A lot of metaphorical writing in this, but, you know, it, it's the falling apart of a relationship and then it's being represented here but then there's this tragic ending that was teased at the beginning that we keep coming back to. I knew it! She's going to survive and she's not. And it's all happening in her head. This is like something similar to what happened with Chris Webby and Ren. And I was just having flashbacks to that and that accident scene. I was wondering, is there going to be a twist there? And there we go. It's getting teased, isn't it? Because she was walking. And then why would you come back to the shot of her needing to be saved right here? When before she opened her eyes and she got herself out. But now she can't. I'm so tired of talking over each other. She ain't going to make it. Yeah. Wow. No. Man. And that's like the ghost of her. So this really is the letter that she didn't write. Because it's her ghost saying it. And the whole time, it's her perspective and sort of life flashbacks, but really... She's the one who's going to suffer. And notice how it just like kind of hangs like that last note just kind of reverberates almost like a ghost in the mix. I'm terrible to watch movies and to like have me watch series and stuff because I'm always like trying to get ahead of the writers and looking for the plot twist and looking for what's going to happen. It had to be. It was too served on a platter. Like they were leading you in this direction. I felt like they did a very good job because obviously since she's the one singing the lyrics, then telling it from her perspective makes sense. And that's what leads to the misdirection. 
when you have that flip at the end and when you have that twist. I love having just a story kind of packed within a story, right? You have the visual story happening. You have the lyrical story and there are a lot of overlaps, but at the same time, the lyrical story and the singing and the song and the production, that could exist on its own in its own world. And this visual story could be like a, a series, could be like a movie, can exist in its own world too. And I just love when you take the opportunity as an artist with a music video just to add a little bit extra to it, right? To spend more time on the details of storytelling over here as well because you spend a lot of time on the details of the storytelling within the music itself. And yeah, this was definitely Emily's song to shine. Listen, I still don't know how I feel. I still don't know how I feel. People have been talking like maybe they should have renamed themselves instead of calling themselves Linkin Park. I don't know. I don't know. It's still so hard and it hits so close to home. I'm still I'm still reserving that final judgment until I hear this full album. But anyways, until then, that was a dope song. Linkin Park, you were not so certified. Hope you guys liked today's video. Listen for some reason here at the end. Obviously, enjoy the content. Do me a huge favor. Support the channel directly. Subscribe notifications on. Really, really does go a long way. I love you guys. This is Hipsay Positive. It's one of Noxo. No, I'll catch you again.